Um, yeah, I mean, obviously you never want to lose, um, and especially losing right now with the chance to go home and get one more game. Um, it truly sucks, but I think just being able to get a taste of this playoff feeling, um, I mean, they're a veteran squad. They make the right reads. They hit some tough shots. Uh, and so, I mean, that's hard, but I think just looking at this, looking at how far we've come from the start of the season to now, I mean, I'm just super proud of our group because I think we had such a special 12 and I just can't wait to see what the future holds. Yeah, obviously a tough one, especially because we've climbed all the way back in and definitely had our opportunities late. Um, and then a few, few different miscues and it's back to a two possession game and we couldn't quite get over the hump there. So, um, like AB said, like it's a good good little taste of, you know, what's possible for this organization and for this franchise. And there's a lot for us to, you know, hold our heads high about, um, you know, this team won think, five games two years ago. So uh, we're a young group, a pretty inexperienced group, um, but we came together and I had a lot of fun playing with one another. And that's sometimes the worst part of it is like, you feel like you're really playing your best basketball and then it has to end. And um but like I said, proud of this group, stayed resilient all year and uh, had a lot of fun together. I think the word that Caitlin just used when she said resilient, I think that's what um, I'm sitting here. You know, we're all competitors in that locker room. And so it doesn't feel good. It just doesn't feel good to to leave here and not have the opportunity to, to get another one um, and an opportunity to move forward. But um, the resiliency that these, this guy, these guys showed all year, but God dang, give, give Connecticut credit, right? Like they are um, an extremely good team. Um, proud of these guys for how we played on Sunday. And they took from that and really did what we asked them to do tonight and gave ourselves a chance to, to win. Um, really proud of these guys, but these guys are hungry. And um, it, like A.B. said, it sucks. Like A.B. said, they were having to edit ends now. Got two in the front row. We'll go Doug, then we'll go Chloe. Caitlin, you, you guys were right there. I mean, the AB's mm -hmm. layup, I think, put you up one with 205 left or so, and then mm -hmm. they made plays down the stretch. You guys couldn't hit the shots you needed. You've been in a position before in college where it ends suddenly. Mm -hmm. How long do you think it's going to take you to sort of process the season <laughs> you've had, which has been obviously talked about record-breaking on, on the court and off the mm -hmm. court, to enjoy now what you did over the course of the year? Yeah, it's definitely different for me. I feel like basketball has really consumed my life for a year. So I feel like it'll be good for me to kind of reflect back on everything that's happened. Like, I feel like I didn't even have time to really reflect on my college career because it ended so fast. And then I came here and was trying to give everything I could to, to this team and kind of move on and put all that behind me and help this team, you know, get back to the playoffs. So um, I feel like taking some time to myself and really enjoying that and reflecting back and, you know, it was special. It was, there was a lot of things that this group accomplished that, you know, a lot of people probably th didn't think was possible one to start the season and two after the start we had to the season. So um, yeah, it'll, it'll definitely be probably a little weird for me over the course of the first couple of weeks. And then I'm sure I'll get bored and pick up a basketball again. So <laughs> stay in the front row, go Matt, then we'll go Chloe. Yeah, Chrissy, uh, despite the result, obviously a, a spirited effort. was just curious what your message to the team was at half, what the atmosphere in the locker room was like, and then obviously, you know, after, you know, just a little bit ago and processing loss and what you said. Yeah, halftime. What would I say at halftime? Um, win the game. <laughs> win the game. That's what yeah. 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 Halftime was a long time ago. Yeah. It was uh, – I mean, these guys never were in a position that we couldn't win this game. You know, we were right – whatever it was at half. And uh, we just kind of kept like, it was like an engine. We just kind of kept getting better as the game went on. Um, we kept putting them in bad, you know, situations that they had to make decisions as it relates to, you know, when Caitlin was pushing and then we would get a B a touch and then the floor would just space out and we were getting the hollow touches. And then we were getting those mismatches. I mean, everything that we talked about that we knew would help us be successful tonight. We did that, um, made it, I don't even think we made an adjustment at halftime. We watched a couple yep. situations that we knew we could be better at. Um, just the, you know, the final game is just one you, you can't even explain when, especially when it ends like that. And as hard as these guys played and as proud as I am of them and um, from the start till, till now, to end 20 and 20 and sixth in the league. I mean, we started one and eight. 
I mean, that's just unprecedented. And these guys, they fought, they worked. They got 1% better every single day. Um, I just kept telling them, you know, you know, nothing, nothing defines us, but our effort and our heart. And they did that tonight. They did that tonight for sure. Stay front row on the left, Chloe, then Andrew. Yeah, Aaliyah obviously coming in last year, going 13-7 or 13-27, then missing the playoffs to the differences of this year of kind of going 2020, getting into this playoff push. Just how can you characterize the differences between last year and this year? Yeah, I mean, I think my rookie season, I think it was a rebuild year. And so when you're looking at a rebuild year, I mean, everyone wants to obviously jump to the championship and bring home a ring and everything. But I think when you look at basketball as a whole and when you look at where you start to where you are now, like it's about stepping stones. And I think in two seasons, we've made the right steps um, to go forward. And I'm excited for what the future holds because we won 13 my first season, now 20 this year. Like we're on the rise. And I think it's important to keep that as the focus because obviously you're not just going to come in and win a championship. There's so many franchises here that had to build. They had number one picks after number one picks after number one picks, and then they won championships. And I think everyone is just so in the rush for a ring in this moment. And obviously we would all love that because that's what everyone competes for every single day, especially just being a competitor. But I think just looking at where we are, we're in the right steps. Front row left to Andrea, then Scott. Uh, Caitlin, they said on the broadcast tonight that you were not going to play overseas. You were going to take some time. Can you just tell us a little bit more about that decision? Are you snitching? Snitching on I you? I don't I mean I don't I was focused on beating the Connecticut Sun. I haven't fought thought <laughs> too far down the line. I don't know what I'm gonna do tomorrow. I don't know what I'm gonna do the next day. So maybe play some golf. I think that's what I'm gonna do until it gets too cold in Indiana. So I got that. I'll become a professional golfer. Not too much, babe. Yeah. Just wait, wait, keep it basketball. Hmm. You know, Scott, then we'll stay in the second row on the left for the next two. Christy, you're up, I think, a basket with two minutes to go and then kind of that late game execution. And I think we start talked about the start of the season, I think a couple turnovers and then how backbreaking were those three straight triples that you guys yielded? Yeah, I know there was a time where I went into the huddle and I just said, score, score, score. Uh -uh. Um, <laughs> and I think uh, we went out and executed and Kelsey came open uh, on a wide open three um, and it just didn't fall. You know, and then we had another opportunity um, and we got downhill and um, got to the rim, um, had some other people open as well. I think I, had, I need to go back and look, but I think these guys are executing late. And then you just, you know, then it's about the basketball gods. And if that ball is going to fall, um, had a, had a, you know, a couple of defensive situations that we're going to, um, you know, that we're going to go back and be probably really upset about. But I mean, these guys. They battled, and these guys, you know, are, are they're a great team. Connecticut is a great team, and if you just for a second um, have a lapse, they're going to make you pay. And that, you know, I think that's that's what great teams do. And these guys have a great opportunity to go and and win this thing. I really believe that. Next two, um, second row to the left. Um, hi, Caitlin. Um, this question is for you. Um, for, for everybody that knows clearly, unless they've been hiding under a rock, they've seen you start from your last college basketball season to go into the draft to, I mean, ever since last season, the, the lights have been on. Um, being as your last game for the season, on a scale of one to 10, physically, how do you feel? I feel pretty good. I mean, I'm still young, so <laughs> I don't know. I feel, I feel pretty good. I don't know. I mean... She could, I, she could probably play five. another 40 yeah, as well. I don't know why they take me out. That's all I have to say. <laughs> they but no, I, I know I played 40 today. Yeah, but girl, I mean, girl. I feel pretty good. I feel like that's and it kind of had to be an adjustment over the course of coming from, you know, the college level to the professional level. Like you're playing, you know, game, day off game. Like you got to really take care of your body and prioritize that. And nobody's here to babysit you. Like you're a professional. Like this is your job. Like you better figure it out and do it yourself. So. Um, I think that's something that, you know, as my career continues to go down the line, it's something you're going to have to, you know, take a little more pride in probably, and, you know, probably won't feel young for forever. So, I mean, I hope maybe, I don't know, but yeah.